Hello everyone, my name is Prod Asilaos, also known as Prod. Just to provide you with another status update on the HUT project, I am here right outside the HUT. Uh, there are the solar panels, and what I have been doing is clearing this side of the hillock uh, from overgrown vegetation. I have cleared a lot of it and I continue going. Uh, the reason I am doing this is because I need to prepare for the coming spring. This vegetation will double in size and it will make it even more difficult to remove. And if it stays here, it poses a fire hazard during summertime. So I have to think ahead of uh, uh, time and apply the necessary preventive measures, which means clear it and otherwise make sure that this place is under control. And probably what I will do is I will plant various uh, things here. So what I have been doing is clearing it and then uh, once I collect all this, I will burn it. So I have been doing that uh, already and uh, yeah, there is much more uh, to go. Uh, it is mid-January and this is the peak uh, rainy season. It has been raining on and off today continuously and this is kind of annoying, I get really bored uh, because I am trying to minimize the amount of time I spend on the computer uh, due to a pain I have on my left uh, hand and uh, then there is not much more I can do uh, while sitting indoors so I get really bored. I don't have a TV, I don't watch uh, TV shows, I don't watch a video so yeah it gets really boring meaning that even when it rains I choose to do some outdoor activity and this activity is extra nice for me because it is vigorous and invigorating uh, so I really like it plus it is the kind of activity where you get to see the impact of your actions on your environment more importantly though it's not just an abstract kind of impact it's the fact that you are assuming responsibility for something that affects you because if you don't do this sort of thing then it poses a fire hazard and then of course if a fire if disaster strikes well you are doomed with all this right around your house you are for sure doomed you cannot uh, put off a fire like this so responsibility being responsible it's a great uh, thing to have and uh, knowing that the fact that you have your own place your own land means that this is not easy street this is again more work that needs to be done i think that's very important very important indeed uh, the amount of work I have done here is really indescribable. It's really just too much. Uh, people won't believe it. They will come here at some point and they will see, you know, an ordinary house at some point. Of course, we have a long way to that eventuality, but it will happen eventually. But they won't believe that basically the whole thing was like this and with vegetation that was two meters high. And I have been doing this sort of activity for months, literal months on end. It's almost like in, uh, uh, I started in early spring uh, last year, so it's closer to a year that I have been doing this. And it's still ongoing and I still have more to do. And it's this sort of thing that if you don't see it, you don't appreciate it. Like, you have your comforts and you take them for granted. Whereas I know that the comforts don't come easy. I know how much work goes into them. My dog Atlas is in front of the camera. Of course, has to go and check. Hey, So is just running around uh, checking stuff yeah about comfort about you know having things easy 
I know that they don't come easy. I know how difficult it is. There are some grapevines here. So of course I want to preserve them because I will use them. But for now, the task is to clear this land. When you learn to appreciate what you have by seeing how it is to not have it, then you don't complain. Then you're like, wow, thank goodness. Thank goodness I have this. And then I will try as best I can to make it a bit easier. But I know that it is not easy. It is not meant to be easy. Who said that it should be easy? And if you have it easy, it's because somebody else put in the work and you don't understand that fact. It's too withdrawn from you. You don't see it. But definitely there was work, a lot of work that went into it for you to be having a good time, an easy time, a time of plenty. So at the very least, remember that fact. Remember the fact that when you are in a position of comfort, in a state of plenty, that, you know, it's not just because you are smart or talented or whatever, it's because lots of other people of unsung heroes have put in work that you are benefiting from. So my dogs are sitting over there and they are making <laughs> my efforts here more difficult when it comes to the video. Hopefully they are not standing in the way, but I cannot see now. I have to cut this. Of course, I will come from below and pull it down, but I have to make sure that here there are no connections. Ah, so my good boy over here wants to help me with the work. Uh, let's see. But you cannot help my friend. This is the thing. Your help is of a different kind, which I definitely appreciate. But it's not this. This is the sort of work that humans have to do. And we will do it. We will do it with eagerness. We will do it with intensity. We will do it without saying, oh no, you know, I will do it later. There is no later. It is all happening now. It is all happening with alacrity. It is all happening, happening with an affirmative attitude, with vigor and with determination. So there is that. Uh, <laughs> Atlas is just sitting here. Uh, so he's definitely enjoying my activity or my commentary on it. I'm not sure. Or both. Maybe it's both. Maybe there is that. So let's see, my friend. What can we do about this? Let's see. Okay. Okay, off it goes. Yeah, we have to be careful. These things are for me. And yeah, I continue, folks. And yeah, this is looking very, very good. Uh, let's see. And this here. Thankfully, it's not raining right now. But it, uh, it might rain again. We will see the clouds are deep in the valley. I cannot see the other side of the valley. So there is that. At any moment, it could rain again. But, well, no worries. No problem, no stress. I just continue here. And my dog is there, sitting there, making sure that I do the work. So he is there for quality control. There it is, there it is, and I am almost up to where the solar panels are. Of course, this is not a one-day project, it's a multi-day endeavor, and uh, it's the sort of thing that you don't just clear the land and then you're done. Then I have to do zoning to make sure that this does not um, um, erode. 
you know, from uh, rainwater. So I have my hands full. I have a lot of work ahead. But, as I said, no worries. I enjoy doing it. And I appreciate what I have. And know the work that goes into having it. And uh, that is extra nice. It has didactic value. It is uh, contributing to character building. And it is uh, great. I really like it. So there is that. Let's see. Plus, it will look cleaner, you know. So there is that. And if I can get some vineyards here to uh, reuse what is available here, that will be extra good. No, it is not a requirement. If it's not the vineyards, maybe this cacti over here. We will see. We will see what comes out of this. But before making any plans, we have to see the clear picture. And I think this is a metaphor in general. First, sort things out and then plan ahead. Don't make too many plans if the picture is unclear. Because those plans will be in vain. Those go, they will go to waste. They don't apply to the case. Let's see now. Uh, as I said, it has been raining and it is very slippery. So it requires a lot of effort for me to stand uh, still like this and do this work. It uh, puts a lot of pressure uh, on my legs. But no worries. We continue, folks. And we see how it goes. Let's see. Okay, looking good. Looking very, very good. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's windy, hopefully. The wind will not blow down my phone. If that happens, I will just terminate the video there. Uh, but let's see. Otherwise, I will continue and do this spot and then I will close. Let's see. I also have to be careful not to destroy the cactus over here. So, there is that. I think we should do it. Let's see. Whoop. Careful. Careful here. It's slippery. And of course, this baby has to go check. Eh? He really enjoys it. The discovery of it. One second, there is a thorn over here. Let's continue. Let's continue, my good friend. And let's see what we can do. Okay, this is looking good. Looking good. And I am reaching the top. And of course I have done when I work up here as well. So there is that. And yes. Let's see what we have. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, wow. This is very dense. It's very hard work. Of course, it looks like grass, but this is not grass. These are bushes, and they are hard to break. And, yes, tough, tough job, tough job for sure. But we continue, folks. That's the spirit. And, yeah, here it is. Let's bring this down. Okay. Oh, wow. Careful. Off it goes. And then I will have to come and pull it from underneath. My dog is here. Very good boy. And yeah, let's continue. Up. Up. Slippery. Extra slippery. Okay. Good. Yeah, I am at the top, but let's not celebrate yet. Let's get the work done. And then we can celebrate, of course. 
So this boy will go first because he did all the work. So he deserves. Ah, the bed. I let him pass. Ah, the bummer, bum, 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 bummer. Bummer, bummer. Don't sit there. Come on, my friend. Good, good, good. Let's do it. Our molto, hitting them with force, uprooting the parts that need to be uprooted. Yeah. Wow, here it's very slippery, folks. Where I am now standing, it's extra hard. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Let me whoop. Whoop. Yeah, I will definitely fall if I sit here for too long. But I am not falling. Today, my friends, I have no plan to do that. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, good. You are going down. Let's see. Can I kick it down? Okay, good. So this is it, folks. I am up here. And I will continue, of course, with the work. But as I said, this is not a one-day project. It uh, continues, and there is much more to it uh, to do the whole thing. But this is definitely work that has to be done. This cannot be uh, delayed. It doesn't matter that we are still in January. This has to be done ahead of time. Plus, I have a ton of work to do. So it's not like I can just uh, wait and uh, bid my time. Let me come down and close the video. And uh, yeah, let's find a suitable spot because, of course, yeah, it is uh, tricky like that. I'm coming. So yeah, that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and uh, goodbye for now.